You think they made up? I wonder what they're talking about. You think I'm lying? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see it written all over your face. Go and have a look over there. He's alive and kicking. Thank the heavens. I thought Sangun ate him. You think they made up? Father, why did you just stay back and watch? I couldn't see you anywhere, so... I thought I was too late. No matter what were to happen, Sangun told me not to try and change his fate. Just wait and see what happens, he said. So I accepted things as they were rather than remaining my stubborn old self. Anyway, it's nice to see you remember how to say father. I thought you had forgotten that word. <laughs> you were such a disobedient little whelp. It was a relief when you finally left home. My chronic illness is all cleared up the moment you step foot out that door. <laughs> Are you? Really? Now is not the time for humor, father. I thought Sangoon hurt you. Sangoon used to say that after a decade, as the rivers and mountains change, so too do one's body and mind. And a legendary beast like himself is no different. He is the guardian of the people, but a guardian serves no purpose if there is no one to protect. Taisu, when your mom died, there was an incident. So, the truth is, on that day... It doesn't matter. You're alive. You can tell me how you almost died some other time. Hey, what are you doing over there? Come join us. That sound. Come to think of it. How did you escape from the government office? Criminals Jomansu and Jotesu, listen! You have fled from the law and what's more, entered the Forbidden Tiger Palace! Tebek! The Tiger Palace are beyond your jurisdiction! Excuse me? Beyond my what? Do you dare speak such presumptions to the Hyungam of Dalbol? That's right. With the way things have turned out, I have nothing left to fear! Today, I, Jomansu, will finally speak the truth! F father This old man is senile! What truth does he speak of? I will tell you the real reason Sangun was so angry! The Adukshini! Every Sangun has kept the ruins sealed throughout their reign! But you fools, unsealed them! So now, Adukshini are running wild throughout our entire homeland! What is this nonsense? Soldiers, what are you waiting for? Arrest these criminals! Listen, it's not like we were after little Songun from the start, but we had no choice if we wanted to survive. It's about time you finally decide to speak the truth, Young Gom. Songun had the power to fend off the Odukshini. <laughs> My foul fortunes! Why wasn't I born into a life of better circumstances? So you made old lady Bidigongduk and Sangun faint at the Grand Town Ceremony. 
And what were you trying to do at an empty Tiger Palace? Don't you already know? The relic sealed within the Tiger Palace. Knocking Sangun out was all for the sake of getting my hands on it. But as soon as I tried taking the relic out, the Aduk Shinny appeared. I was in a panic. I thought they all had disappeared 50 years ago. Wait a minute. You're the ones I drank with that day. You acted worried about me. But that was all just a ruse. Such wicked filth. We never made an alliance. What is this talk of betrayal? You want wicked? Take a look in the mirror, pal. Sangun has the power to defeat all the Odukshini. And you kidnapped young Sangun, but tried to sell him when things went south. <laughs> yes, that was indeed my intent. So what? Are you going to kill me? You? You're provoking us? Now? Are you still trying to play the villain? Think we're foolish enough to kill the king's delegate and be accused of treason? That's right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Your Majesty, we never even dreamed of committing treason against the king or the royal court. We just caused a revolt to shed light on the corruption and atrocity of Jong Iksun, the Hyungam of Dalbo. It's hard to count all the charges, so please take your time and check them one by one. B what? What did you say? How dare you? Who the hell are you? Huh? I'm Dolce from Hanji County. You all know me, right? Anything I said sound like a lie to you? Nope. He's absolutely right. Yeah, he is right. You insolent. The young gum of the East will hear about this. I don't know where it is, but if you release me now, I'll speak with the young gum. Huh, you wish? Is that how you're trying to escape? Well, no, thank you. We already know who your accomplice is. Poor young gum. To have this guy working under him. But it seems like we can rule out the relic being in the Tiger Palace. Did, did you just mock me? No wonder I didn't see anything that looked like a relic within the palace. What should we do now? We worked so hard to track it down. Wait, so Lady Yunwa had no idea where the relic was when she asked us to find it for her? So, this is why my ears were burning on my way up the mountain. To think I'd find you here bad-mouthing me, Dulce. Huh? Oh, Lady Yodwa, speak of the devil. Dulce, adventurer. Oh, though it's traveler now, isn't it? Long time no see. I knew you two would get along marvelously. I knew that when you got everything taken care of, you'd end up here, and see? My intuition is never wrong. But what's the point of gathering that energy for the orb? The relic was stolen. I put my faith in you, my lady. Watch your tone, Dulce. But is it true that there is no relic in the Tiger Palace? <laughs> well, that's an unexpected turn. Then who stole the relic? You're not going to believe this, but it was the Young Gam of the East. Jong Ik Soon here, the Young Gam of Darbal, has confessed. Huh? Hey, where's the Young Gam? What the hell were you guys doing? How do you expect us to detain a Young Pod? If they want to leave, they leave. Hey, Dulce, no matter how unfair this is, if you step out of line again, I'll have your legs broken. No, I mean. Jeez, this is so unfair. I'm at a loss. Uh... Oh, I got it. We should go visit Miss Mio. Hmm. <laughs> Judging from Dulce's reaction, seems like you guys had some fun while I was away. hear me out. This is so unfair. I've really given it my all. Oh, the world is riddled with all kinds of unfairness, Miop. But I also make sure to always give it my all. 
So, what happened? I may or may not have widely offended our dear Hyungam. And though he's fled, I've no idea when he'll be back to take his revenge. Uh, what do you mean, Milp? What do you mean? What kind of troubles have you gotten into, Milp? But who is this lady, Milp? Hey, now, you can't just invite everyone in here like it's your home. <laughs> You're pretty spirited. I am Yanhua from Hwasun Valley. Hwasun Valley? Oh, I've been there once. Meihua flowers are in full. Wait, what did you say your name was? That's not important. You know, back in Hanji, they say there's no one half as righteous as old Dose. The Traveler and I turned over every stone in Donghe, and look here! We've got evidence in spades! What's all this, Milp? Why are you showing this to me? Being in exile is enough, Milp! Do you want me to get sentenced to death? Come on, you've got one foot in the grave already, if you know what I mean. Besides, the Traveler and I are powerless to do anything about this on our own. But, if we join forces with all the people we've met in Donghe, we might just stand a chance. Huh. How did such a low-born man learn to speak so eloquently? <laughs> okay, Miss Miel of Bjork County is all ears, Miop. When I investigated the Dongsan tree for Bali's will, I found evidence of the Yonggam coercing Bali with her own skin. It's evidence that shows that if the Yonggam of the East didn't lack someone, he made Bali lure them with her beauty and then place a curse upon them. But then he tried to force her to harm the old beauty Gongduk couple who raised her. This was something she could not do, and so she chose death instead. Oh, so you mean Body became a mudang rape as punishment for the curses that she placed before she committed suicide, Miop? Mi Hyun seems really cold on the outside, but she cares deeply for those in need. And she's always given them aid ever since she was young. It was all thanks to Mi Hyun's fox orb that the plague had ceased spreading and disappeared from Daobo. When the fox hunters of the centipede market heard the rumor and came rushing, the Hyunggam, ignorant of Mihyun's kindness, mobilized troops for the fox hunters. And that's when Mihyun's older sister got hunted and died. Mihyun was furious and plotted her revenge. There's also evidence that the Hyunggam ordered his minions to infiltrate the Honglin base and kill her. So, Honglin base is no longer home to the fox goddess's followers, but is crawling with Jung Iksun's goons, Miop. Government officials should take care of the people whose taxes feed and clothe them. How could they go around like gangs in the marketplace and rob them instead? May well be the nope said pretty often, right, Miss Mio? Would you believe she's the woman who became a Songakshi? Beautiful May well caught the eye of the young gam of the East, but she remained faithful to her fiance, rejecting the young gam's advances. This didn't deter the young gam of the East, who went about investigating the fiance and used the betrothed's past service as a tiger slayer to send him to Bumbawi Valley. The fiancé died, all according to the Yonggam's plan. He once again propositioned Mewol, who fled, died with a heart full of resentment, and became a Sungakshi. Jeez, to think he used the king's power to harass young women! This is unflopping believable, Myop! You know how the Dokebi really lacked Mr. Kim's? Well, the Hyunggam and Yonggam deceived the Dokebi king. Duokshidi lent the chief of Sukmo village the Kebi bat, but the chief was murdered in Moodle village and the bat disappeared. I thought the Dokebi were just suddenly harassing humans for no reason. But Duokshidi's rage, Sukmo's destruction, it's all because of this. The Kebi bat was being held in the Donghe government office as the Yonggam's bargaining chip against Duokshidi. If you want to protect the Mr. Kims, make me an army, he threatened. So that explains all the sudden soldier Gebby. Ugh, what a pair! The Yungum and the Hyungum? I smell a conspiracy! Don't Gebby have feelings just like all other creatures? This is insane, Milp! There's a gold mine in Gowun Plateau that people rarely went to, and the Hyungum lured poor folk there to develop the mine illegally. And then an earthquake happened and the poor laborers died. Old Granny Birth pitied them, so they were reborn as golden pigs. Despite lacking memories of their past life, they used their poverty-sniffing senses to help those in need. Giving out gold to people was what became their undoing. So anyone who received a bit of gold ended up in jail. And the golden pigs were set upon because rumors spread that they eat humans. We checked the foreign ship after seeing the Ebong and Hyungam whispering to each other. Seems like the Hyungam and even the Yunggam are getting bribed. 
Oh, no. Wait, stop it, Nilp. It's hard for my old ears to digest all this information at once. Oh, but I've barely scratched the surface. Should we take a break? Now to think of it, talking so much really worked up an appetite. Yes, a quick breather would be much appreciated. This guy, Dose, just has so much energy, Nilp. But why is Lady Yonhua not saying anything? I thought you'd be mad. What, are you daydreaming? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I'm listening. Hunger makes it hard to focus. Come on now, people, it's like I've been saying. I can't change the world all by myself. But if we can all rally together, we'll surely be invincible. So keep listening until the end. I've got a brilliant plan to tell you. Well, that same Bamboo Legion showed up with spears saying this world is rotten and it's best to end it to bring about a new era. Seems like people were screaming out their sorrows to the steel that the Bamboo Legion were enshrined in at Chimney Dev Forest. Sure, they shouldn't have been doing that, but in the face of such constant hardships, I can empathize. Can't blame the Bamboo Legion for being awoken by those terrible screams, neither. Recently, taxes in forced labor have been on the rise, Milp. So I have seen a lot of people suffering. In the past, the Goon Plateau was a communal farming area. But one day, the Honorable Chue suddenly claimed up all the land. The people who had been living there were kicked out overnight, and it became a labor camp for criminals accused of accepting bribes from the Golden Pigs. While the Hyungan was hunting water deer there, he tried to cover up a run-in with the youngest son of one so-called criminal, and whoever knew the truth should have spoken up instead of simply sweeping it under the rug. This led to the child's mother taking her own life, and becoming a vengeful Gusensei. When investigating how the Honorable Tread got a hold of that land, we discovered there had been a time when the government ordered unowned land to be registered as farmland. Somehow, word of this reached his ears, and he snatched up the land lickety-split before the official registration period even started. He probably bribed someone to hop on the policy information. It's flopping obvious. It must have been the Dalbo office that issued the registration, Nope. There was this guy called Deho, whose entire family suffered from tiger attacks. It all started when his younger brother Desuk tried to sell little Sangun. He was attacked by tigers while on his way to a foreign trader. But the fact that little Sangun was outside the tiger palace was already suspicious, don't you think? Anyway, the tiger attacks were so bad that the scholars of Byokia Island endlessly petitioned for striped folk tiger slayers to be called in. But our dear young gum and young gum ignored those pleas until the striped folk tiger slayers were finally dispatched somehow, no thanks to our lordships. Also, there's a rumor that eating the snake from the blessed waterfall of Tebek would protect you from tiger attacks, so the price of those snakes skyrocketed. As it turned out, the snake catchers were hired by the young gum, and only the Chua family was allowed to supply snakes. That money went straight into the young gum's pockets. So they made money by taking advantage of people's fear of the tiger attacks, Milp? And the tiger attacks started because someone stole little Sangu? Yeah, it's hard to believe, but the young gum admitted it. He threatened Mr. Byun the butcher and forced him to serve some strange liquor to Sangu. Their plan was for Sangu to get drunk on that liquor and then steal artifacts from the palace. But then things got out of hand and the Odukshiri ended up getting loose. And then the Hyungam and the Hyungam took little Sangun as leverage and tried to sell him across the sea. Can you believe that? Sangun has every right to be angry, doesn't he? If it wasn't for the Stripe Folk Tiger Slayer's dispatch, everyone would have died from the tiger attacks. Is this what officials should do? Tell me, Miss Mio. It's impossible for a person to do such things, even if they were possessed by an evil spirit. Surely, the Yonggum and the Hyungam have their own ulterior motives. Of course. The young gum's political ambition is nothing new, Milp. However, being a local official and advancing to the central government are two different matters. That clever young gum could not have forgotten his roots, Milp. And if his intention was just to secure a secret fund, he caused far too much trouble. Though he may not have been entirely virtuous, he has clawed his way into a position beyond his birth with sheer ability, led the Dohe province with integrity, and was praised for it, Milp. Right? Even a lowborn like me knows the name Idok Su. He's an officer that was renowned in every corner of these lands. 
he wouldn't have caused such suffering among the people without a strong motive and substantial rewards, Milp. The flow of money is blinding us, Milp. We need to figure out his true motives before it's too flop and late. All the evidence of tyranny has been gathered, and I will lend my strength. Even though I'm in exile, I'll gladly risk getting buried in a foreign land if it means doing what's right for this country, Milp. Yeah, right you are, Miss Mule. We should just sit tight until we get an answer from the capital. But hasn't the Hyungam already caught on and run off? That means all that evidence could be destroyed at this very moment. Don't say you fool. We have the Traveler with us now. Let us send them ahead to subdue the Yungam of the East first. Huh? Did you forget that he whooped us before running off last time? The Yungam is not an ordinary old man. He's a beast. And if we miss our chance this time, it's all over. We have to get it right the first time. I'll gather people quick, so wait quietly, okay? What on earth hippity happened? You look so down, Dorste. You... But we've got so many folks willing to help fight for our cause. There's Tebek troops and the Dukke B as well. And if we get old lady Beauty Gongduk to help us, all the villagers will join us too. Hmm, that's true. But we don't have much time. When daylight comes, you gotta run like your feet are on fire, Milp. What on earth hippity happened? Dulce? Yes, my lady? Why would you make things harder? Huh? I don't think you understand the situation. Time is truly of the essence. If things go wrong, even the innocent could be accused. Why bother bringing a paring knife when you've already got a cleaver? My lady, as a noble, you must know. <laughs> what must I know? You have to go through procedures for national affairs. You know, something bad always happens when you're in a rush. Think you can handle it? It's your first time doing this, right? Of course I can. Don't underestimate me, my lady. <laughs> oh, man. This is stressing me out. I'm sorry, Traveler. Anyway, I'll go with the safe and sure way. I'll handle the details, so make yourself a cup of honey tea and relax. <clears throat> then I'll go to sleep first. I have to wake up early, so don't bother me. Ah! Hey, Traveler! My lady! We are in trouble! Big trouble! Oh, it's so early. Did you wet the bed or something? I, 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 I... You what? I... I... You what? I woke up late! Oh no, I should have been up at the crack of dawn to gather our forces. Oh. <sighs> they say old folks don't need much sleep, so why is Miss Mio still snoozing? I told her to wake me up! You brat! Do I look like your flopping mother or something, Milp? It's been a while since I've had good honey tea and got a good night's sleep thanks to it. Gotta teach that corrupt E-Duck Sue a lesson. This won't do. What should we do now? Ah, oh, it's hopeless. Lady Yodwa, please help. Let's split up and gather people. Hurry! Oh, that dimwit. Seriously? Traveler, you have to buy us some time. Can you do it? Take this jade orb with you. It'll help hold back the young Gam's power. Hold out there just for a moment, Traveler. We'll gather people and follow you right away. Nice to dear. <laughs> The liquor in the golden jar is the blood of a thousand people. The meat on the jade plate is the fat of ten thousand. <laughs> Did you come here to recite such a poem? <laughs> 
Sadly, I live a humble, honest life, and Donghe is a land of abundance. Who would believe you if you tried to punish me in this land? Hmm? <laughs> That dull-witted Chang Iksun came late at night, a diligent servant indeed. Yet you, the sharp-witted one, came long after daybreak. Truly lazy, aren't you? And you have the audacity to face me, Idoksu, alone! This time I will take your head and hang it up for all to see! Warden of Donkey shall now execute you! <sighs> Strange that you, who once couldn't withstand even a single attack, now have me cornered. Does your power come from those who resent me? No, it's absurd. No matter. Using my power so soon feels a bit wasteful. But disposing of you is my top priority. Just as his lordship had foretold. You. Everywhere I go, it's traveler this, traveler that. A day hasn't gone by where I haven't heard of the ruckus you've caused. Your bio wanderlust has foiled all of our intricate plans. But now, you lie beneath me, unconscious and vulnerable. I shall put an end, pathetic worm, to your wretched fate. 
Lordship, on your order. Such determination and skill. What you could have accomplished as my servant. Execute them. Yes, my lord. As you command. Royal Inspector! On the scene! Hear me, criminals Yi Duk Su and Zhang Ik Sun. You have embezzled from our sacred treasury and threatened the safety of our good people. I am Royal Inspector Yi Mong Leong. Your office has been seized, and you will be sent to the capital under my custody. It is the King's will and my rope that binds you! <laughs> Traveler, did I not promise my return? Yi Dok Su, Warden of Donghe. You are well aware of your criminal acts. <laughs> Yet you pretend to be blind to the lives that have improved under my rule. With my own eyes and ears, I witnessed the pain and agony our people have endured. You dare try to deceive the King's Royal Inspector? <laughs> Fool! Your utopian ideals are the purest form of naivety. A politician's duty is to balance the scales of profit and sacrifice. Heresy! How can a protector of the people pursue such twisted ideals? Carefully balancing my purpose with the people's welfare. My choices have always been decidedly the most optimal ones. So, your optimal choice was to provoke tiger attacks? A small price to pay for a great cause! But now you've ruined it all! Even though the people of Donghe enjoyed a short-lived peace, you are anything but a benevolent ruler. I did everything the one I serve. So there are greater forces behind your foul acts? <sighs> oh, great morning, Zair. I, Inspector Yi Mong Leong, humbly witness your grace. Thanks for your work. I mean, well done. told you what this orb was really for. This is no mere key, but a relic of the Tiger Palace and the forbidden legacy of Tebek. Brewing conflict between you, my dear sister, and the young Gom was not an easy task. This Aldukshani has resonated with your special black spirit, enough to regain its full power. It would have been most ideal if it happened the first time you met, but back then, the difference in power was far too great. Your Highness, congratulations. Now, 
you finally recognize my... Let there be no misunderstanding, sister. Don't be so harsh as to call my actions betrayal. I merely withheld some information in order to perfect my grand plan. Ah, have I not told you once before about my troubles? An ill boy I love as my own son, our brother. Now, I finally have the power to save my king. My sister, Mong Yong, and even you, Dok Su and Ik Sun. I shall forever be in your debt. Your Highness, please! What is the meaning of all this? What in the world is going on? Please explain what's happening! My lady! Princess, how are you feeling? It's me, Dosa. Hey, stop loafing around and get up. <laughs> Your spirit went on quite a journey. It's understandable. You slept through an entire day. Look, Princess. The light of a new morning. I'll be waiting whenever you're ready. Did you even see those eyes? Nothing but determination in them. Oh, are you the royal inspector's friend? He was waiting ages for you. <laughs> Until hunger overtook him and he decided to grab a meal down at the marketplace. But we don't have all day. We gotta leave soon if we want to arrive at the capital in time. <laughs> yes, sir. The inspector has to go report to the king about what happened. They gotta bring justice to those two corrupt officials. But he insisted on meeting you before he leaves. So hurry up and go fetch him for me. Princess, you've come. Might I request your esteemed opinion on this? Is it not captivating? It's a gift for my beloved back in Seoul. Is it too out of touch? Your countenance seems to suggest as much. Ah, about the Moodle Village murder case you were the suspect of. That was also revealed to be the Young Gam's doing, under the Odukshini's influence. Hence, you needn't harbor any concerns, and my sincerest apologies for my belated arrival to the battle. Do you recall the honey tea that we had at Miss Mio's? We found traces of sleep-inducing poison in our cups. It seems it was part of Princess Yonhua's plan to make you face the Yonggum of the East alone. Please forgive me for concealing my true identity. I beg your understanding of my role as a royal inspector in service to his majesty. Speaking of, I have something to show you, Princess. An artist drew our moment at the Donghe office on this scroll. I would be honored to present it to you as a memento. Would you be so kind as to take a look? Royal Inspector! On the scene! Hear me, criminals Yi Duk Su and Zhang Ik Sun. You have embezzled from our sacred treasury and threatened the safety of our good people. I am Royal Inspector Yi Mong Leong. Your office has been seized, and you will be sent to the capital under my custody. It is the king's will and my rope that binds you! Oh my. It seems only I've been depicted favorably. And one more thing.
We found several letters at the office, correspondence between Princess Yonhua and the Yonggang of the East. She ordered the Yonggang to throw the Tiger Palace into chaos, promising him the position of chief prime minister in return. While in pursuit of the forbidden legacy of the Tebek, the Yonggang became possessed by the Oduchini and began going to extreme lengths to fulfill his ideals, pursuing inhuman courses of action without a shred of remorse. Although we unintentionally helped awaken Dark Bonghuang, in the process we were able to save the lives of countless people. So please, do not be overly concerned, Princess. Oh, please, you are the esteemed Princess of this land. How could I dare presume? Indeed. I've heard tales of your upbringing at a school of Do Arts. So, if that is what you wish, what would you have me do? I... I cannot possibly do that. If by any chance it were to reach the ears of His Majesty the King... I... I, I understand. Uh, <clears throat> point taken. Uh, <clears throat> please do not... I mean, you better not accuse me of impiety later. <clears throat> then... care to take a walk? I assume that Lady Yonhua, I mean Her Highness, is headed to Mount Ashi to awaken Bonghuan. The Yonggam's Oduchin is at its full potential. She plans to use Dark Bonghuang's powers to get His Majesty back on his feet. It is most likely that to Her Highness, Dark Bonghuang was her last and only hope. For the sake of her little brother, that is. But the people of Donghe province, they are the true victims. I suppose that, with this, I've repaid the debt of my life to Her Highness. And have I not made myself a good friend along the way? <laughs> I must head to the capital now. Farewell for now, but I'll return very soon. Please take care of this land until then. The land of the morning light is still brimming with stories yet to be told.